A while ago, I made a Titanfall 2 review on a collaborative channel my friends and I worked on called Bracket Studio. The review was mostly a recap of the campaign and lightly touched on the multiplayer aspect of the game. And in that review, I said this. It's still fun to come back to every once in a while, but it's not necessarily something I'd play for hours and hours on end. So that was a fucking lie. Not long after I made that review, I got hooked on Titanfall 2's multiplayer. At the time, I was playing on Xbox, so all my progression was on there. I unlocked a bunch of stuff, I prestiged, I lived and breathed Titanfall for months. And then, after a while, I put it down for other games, which is gonna happen, you know? On occasion, I would return to the game. Eventually, I built a solid gaming PC and switched over to that, but it was around the time that the attacks on Titanfall 2 began. If you're not aware, the Titanfall 2 servers were under constant DDoS attacks, and this was happening between both Titanfall and Titanfall 2. This would overload the servers with requests and shut down the servers due to the high traffic coming in. At least that's how I understand it. This could happen during a match, so all of a sudden you'd be met with a lost connection screen while you're playing, and this would go on for years, on and off. By this time, Respawn would release Apex Legends, which is a battle royale set in the Titanfall universe, and took over the BR community over time. From what I was able to discern from my research, things came to a head in 2021. Titanfall was still under DDoS attack, but it was so bad that no one could even connect to the servers to begin with. Eventually, Apex Legends fell victim to an attack of their own on July 4th, that same year. However, it wasn't just that players couldn't connect. They weren't allowed to search for games. And I use that verbiage very specifically because you were able to connect to the game so you can view the lobby, but the option to queue for matches was not interactable. Instead of the usual options you'd see for queuing up, you'd be met with a text that read SaveTitanfall.com. I remember all of this going down, and when I checked the website, it was more or less a website chronicling the DDoS attacks that both Titanfall games have been suffering and calling EA and Respawn to action in order to get these games fixed to prevent more attacks. While the site is no longer active, from what I can tell, you can find an archive of the website on the Wayback Machine in case you wanted to peruse it for yourself. This is mostly covered by a YouTuber online named Upper Echelon. There's an entire playlist of all the videos that he has made regarding Titanfall linked in the description down below if you wanted to go ahead and go on that roller coaster. And I highly recommend watching these because I'm skimming over a lot of details here. So if you want the full story, definitely check out that playlist. Eventually, this led some community members to take matters into their own hands and create a mod that allowed players to host their own Titanfall 2 games and servers through a third-party app called Northstar. This sent the community into an excited frenzy, and Titanfall lived again, albeit outside of official means. I managed to give this a shot myself, since by this time, I was starved for more Titanfall. From the time I spent with the North Star client, the games were fast fun and left me wanting more official Titanfall content. I was sorely hoping for a new Titanfall game, as well as many others in the community. It wouldn't be long before we would all get confirmation on the fate of a potential Titanfall 3. Media outlets around the internet began picking up on a story floating around about Titanfall 3. It wasn't out of the norm to see an article pop up talking about what it could be or cryptic tweets from developers, etc. The thing is that this time it was quotes from a dev who worked on Titanfall 3 and confirmed it was cancelled to make Apex Legends. To paraphrase, Titanfall 3 was in development for 10 months before being scrapped. At some point, the battle royale genre really began to pick up around 2017 with PUBG popularizing it. Respawn was left with a choice, make an incrementally better Titanfall or go with the battle royale. Well, we all know how that went. It's bittersweet because I personally feel like Apex Legends is one of, if not the best BR out there right now. However, it also killed Titanfall 3. In a way, Titanfall lives on within Apex, but mostly through animated cinematics and character stories, kind of like how Valkyrie is the daughter of Viper from Titanfall 2, Blisk is the one running Apex games, etc, etc. However, the gameplay is vastly different. There's no wall running, no traditional TDM or alternative game modes outside of seasonal events, and no Titans. Now, having said that, Apex Legends became a juggernaut in the BR space, but that hasn't fulfilled the itch for a new Titanfall game. A lot of us want an updated take on Titanfall PvP, and I'd even wager that many want a new campaign to play through as well, given how much of a banger Titanfall 2 was. Which all brings us to recent events. He and I fans saw that some individuals on Twitter were posting cryptically regarding Titanfall, and that an update rolled out for the game as well. As players flock back to the game, 
they found they were able to match into games and play entire matches without interruption. Word spread like wildfire and eventually sent Titanfall fans into another frenzy. We were playing Titanfall again. But what does this mean? Are Respawn finally winding up for a new Titanfall game? Or is this just long overdue maintenance? Perhaps even just some sort of viral marketing for a new Apex of Legends feature or something? Who really knows? At the time of writing, nothing is apparent, but what I can say for sure is this. We want more Titanfall and we want it as soon as possible. Even with our undying want for a new Titanfall game, the reality is more than likely going to be something more grounded. However, that isn't stopping people from speculating on what might be on the horizon. The biggest one, of course, is a new Titanfall game. The long requested Titanfall 3. I even threw my own hat into the ring, thinking that this might be some sort of method to test the want for a new Titanfall game. With the updates, fixing the ability to get into and play online matches, a message on the multiplayer main menu welcoming back pilots, and even adding a game mode named only as three question marks. Something had to be up, right? My whole tinfoil hat guess is that EA wanted to see how many people actually wanted a new game, so they had Respawn implement whatever fixes they could and let fans run wild. The initial tweets were probably a way to get the ball rolling on this. If EA sees the demand, they may greenlight a new Titanfall game. That's just my guess anyway. As I've said before on some poor soul's Twitter thread, I have no evidence to support this claim, and it is simply a wild guess to make sense of everything going on right now. As of right now, Titanfall 2 has seen a massive resurgence of players and a lot of discussion online. While I can't say for sure a new game is genuinely in the works, it's definitely in the conversation among fans and spectators alike. In the grand scheme of things, I hope this does show EA that the demand is there and will allow Respawn to make a new Titanfall. However, Respawn themselves are very busy making sure that Apex Legends is still going strong, as well as developing three new games, two of which are Star Wars games. That third game, we still don't know much about. We won't know anything until a statement or an announcement is issued by either EA and or Respawn themselves, but until then, let's enjoy what's going on right now. Titanfall 2 is fixed and players are playing it again. Genuine excitement reverberates through online communities. The energy is so infectious and I hope things are bright. For Titanfall in the future. So, how are you taking this Titanfall revival? You love it? Hate it? Got your tinfoil hat on like me? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, please feel free to let me know in the comments as well. Plus, liking the video and subscribing to the channel helps me out a lot. You can find some gameplay videos on the channel for something a little less talky and more subject driven, so give those a shot as well. With that being said, stay hydrated. I hope you have a good one, and we'll catch you next time.